What is going on, YouTube? Verse John Stanek from Johnny Radio here, bringing you another top five on this glorious top five Friday. And guys, so excited. The Academy Awards just happened this past Sunday. And overall, I was very pleased with the event. I thought most of the awards given were well deserved, especially for Song of the Year. Billie Eilish won for What Was I Made For from Barbie, uh, which I didn't care for the movie that much, but this song I felt was just uh, really well written and beautiful. Would it make my top five of all time? We're about to see because I'm about to give you my list. And uh, it was hard to whittle down because, I mean, we're going almost 100 years back worth of songs here. But uh, I think I got to the cream of the crop. Let's get right to it. At number five. Tell me something. Shallow by Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper from A Star Is Born. Yes, I absolutely love this song and it is, I think, the most recent song on my list. Uh, but yeah, it's just, you know, who would have known Bradley Cooper was a pretty good singer? And then, of course, working with Lady Gaga, no matter what you do, it's going to shine brightly, whether you're Tony Bennett or Bradley Cooper. But also, on the flip side, who would have known Lady Gaga was such a great actress? Uh, she was just knocked it out of the park with her performance in the movie. But yeah, as far as the song goes, I mean, just uh, amazingly written, uh, the way that it builds and that big, catchy, anthemic chorus uh, and the pre-chorus, you know, watch as I dive in. Oh, man, it's just so good. And that's just my number five. So now at number four. Falling Slowly by Glenn Hansard and Marketa Erglova from the film Once, which is a highly underrated movie if you haven't seen it. So good. And, you know, I remember when this won at the time, it, it had been a long time since kind of a singer-songwriter, uh, folky artist had won this award. As it was so great to see some relatively unknown artists at the time win this prestigious award. And it was just so well-deserved. I mean, just like Shallow, such a well-constructed ballad that uh, has this great uh, hooky chorus and, and the falsettos and the harmonies are beautiful. Um, and it really has this authentic feel to it, like it was just written, uh, which, you know, goes along with the film if you've seen it. Such a great song. And that's just my number four. So now at number three... City of Stars, sung by Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone. Of course, it was written by Justin Hurwitz for La La Land, which uh, is honestly one of my favorite movies of all time. And I'm not really a musicals guy, but the music in this movie by Justin Hurwitz is just fantastic. I could have uh, picked like five different songs, all of them to win best song that year, and it would have been fine with me. But City of Stars, just an absolutely brilliant track. Uh, it seems more simple than it really is. And I think the vocal performances by both of them are great. Of course, Gosling has gone on to show that he can also sing uh, songs like I'm Just Ken in Barbie, which uh, if you caught the performance last week was hilarious with Slash on stage or just going all out. It was great, man. I loved it. But uh, City of Stars is just one of those magical songs that... Um, you know, it's, it's uh, again, it feels very simple, but uh, the way that it, it builds and just the lovely chemistry that they have as uh, both actors and vocalists on this song, like that little cute moment where Emma Stone kind of giggles. It's, it's just beautiful, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. And that's just my number three. So now at number two. Streets of Philadelphia by Bruce Springsteen from Philadelphia from 1993. Oh man, I love this song so much. And you know, I'm not the biggest Bruce Springsteen fan overall. Like uh, I'm not a big fan of some of his uh, earlier work, uh, a lot of the Rocky stuff. Um, here and there I do, but you know, Born to Run doesn't do it for me as much as it does for others. But albums like Nebraska, where he's really just cutting back and doing some of these uh, just bare bones ballads, I think to me are some of his best songs. And this is definitely one of them. And I just love that hypnotic drum beat that kind of goes through the whole thing. And this organ that's just very light, uh, but it's the, the lyrics of the song just perfectly encapsulate what the film is about, how 
you know, no matter who we are, we all have to love one another. And uh, man, it's a heartbreaking film. It's not one that I go back to very often, but the song is one that um, I definitely do. I absolutely love this song. And that's just my number two. So now at number one, Over the Rainbow from The Wizard of Oz. It had to be, of course, sung gloriously by Judy Garland. I don't think um, the song would be what it is without her vocal. Just amazingly beautiful. Uh, and just, uh, you know, no matter what you think about this film, which I'll always love it, you know, a childhood favorite, uh, I think for many generations, uh, it really holds up as, as a great film, whether you're a child or an adult. But I think this song is really what is the heart and soul of that film and has gone on to be covered so many times through the years some really great ones as well, but I don't think any will uh, will match just the absolute gorgeous voice of Judy Garland and uh, the, the performance and, and the string arrangement. I mean, it's just lovely. And uh, yeah, gotta be your number one. So let me know in the comments below what would your top five be? I know it's a tall order going back over all these years, but uh, there have been a lot of great wins, a lot of great songs that unfortunately didn't win or even more that didn't even get nominated. Don't get me started on that. But um, I think out of these five songs, there's a lot to love here. And, you know, call me sappy or whatever, but uh, a lot of them that are these just amazing ballads really stand the test of time. So, that is my list, guys. Let me know what you think. And guys, we got top fives every Friday, album reviews, so much more. Thank you for watching. And as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.